everyone, my name is Rachel. It's late August here in Dubai and while it's a bit early in the morning now, it's quickly heating up still. Um, I wanted to show you my garden. I've just had my uh, irrigation installed and although it's probably still far too early, I'm just going to plant a couple of seeds to see what happens. It's probably a bit early um, so I might need to plant them again in a couple of weeks but um, I'm just excited to get started, so let's have a quick look. So here in my raised beds, um, which I've been filling over the months, um, over the summer months with leaves, layers of leaves, cardboard and other organic matter, making my own in-bed compost. And then I've topped them off with a layer of topsoil, potting soil, and um, I've also been using some horse manure um, in these as well, but you can see my new irrigation. So I'm very excited to have that this year. It's my first year having irrigation, um, but I'm hoping this will help me to uh, maintain my garden. So I'm still working on building the soil. Um, I've got these other raised beds in this section of the garden, and I have decided that today, just because I can, I'm going to plant just a few seeds. So I've picked out just four varieties that are summer loving plants um, and I'm just going to see how I go, but I think it's a bit too early. Um, so I've got my Molochio, which is Egyptian spinach um, from my farm Dubai here locally. So these are local seeds, which is why I've decided to do those ones today. Molochia is also a summer loving crop, so um, hopefully that will go okay. And also from my farm Dubai, I've got my Pat Choi, my Chinese cabbage. And then some great ones from Baker Creek. I've picked out Persilane, again, a good summer crop, and Basil for the same reason. So I just picked out four. I've made my little labels to go with these as well so that I know what I've planted and where. And I'm just going to put a little bit of each of these into this raised bed garden with my new irrigation just because I'm too excited to get started. In the Charles Dowding no dig style, I'm going to be adding some of my homemade compost. So I'll be adding a layer of this to the soil and, uh, and then planting the seeds in that. So um, this is completed compost. It does still have some chunks of eggshells, which actually may um, challenge some of the seeds to germinate if the eggshells get in the way, but um, I'm going to give it a go. So I've added my layer of compost and I've added my labels and now I'm just going to put some small divots here into the compost and plant my seeds. I'll then give them a good water in and leave them and while they're getting some morning sun here in this area, they are still underneath my shade so they hopefully they won't be getting too much um, direct sunlight hopefully it won't be too hot and uh, maybe I'll be getting some early harvests okay so my seeds are in my labels here and I'm just going to give them a nice gentle water to get them started I'm very excited to have my new seeds in the ground and to be kicking off the gardening season Thanks so much for watching. I'm just so excited to be putting my first seeds into the outside garden. I have already started my um, peppers, eggplants, tomatoes, beans, okra, um, and tomatillos inside. Um, so yeah, I've got some seeds going inside under a grow light, but this is my first seeds outside in my new garden and I couldn't be happier. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, happy gardening. I'm so grateful for everyone's support. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.